Okay. Okay. I'm going to try and make this a really quick edit. I've been looking at 3D rotation matrices. 3D rotation matrices. Um, it's part of the A level further maths syllabus. And um, I thought, I thought, what better way to demonstrate how they actually work and what they do than uh, writing an R program? So, well, I say R, um, I just wanted to write a program. And in the end, um, R came up trumps because it handles matrices so well and it's really easy to export JPEGs. So what I'll do, I'll probably run it now so you can see it while I'm talking. There's a link to my code. I'll put a link under the video to my blog post, which includes the full code to produce these animations. Yeah, just let me know if you've got any more questions. Um, if you've got any questions that aren't answered in the blog post, just let me know. But yeah, um, as you can see here, I've done uh, some rotating around the, the X axis, anti-clockwise and clockwise. And then I've done rotation around the Y axis, anti-clockwise and clockwise. I've also done rotation around the Z axis. And then I've experimented with combining two types of rotation on the same cube and then three types of rotation, which is all done by multiplying matrices. Um, if you found this interesting, please like, subscribe. My channel is dead. Um, had a really great video a couple of weeks ago, did really, really well, got a 99.2% like rate. And my channel is still going, um, still losing subscribers because YouTube's dead, my channel's dead. But uh, anything you could do uh, would be much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Thank you.